Let's say you have your expenses and incomes recorded separately. For a particular date or time frame, you need to get a summary on both of them in the form of a personal financial statement. Hello there, this is Fariha Tulmim from Excel Demi, your one stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forum, templates and VBA related answers. In this workbook, over the blank worksheets, we will learn how to create personal financial statement in Excel. We will do that using two steps. We will use Excel 365 for that. You can use any other available Excel versions as well. Let's get down to the video. Before creating a balance sheet, we need to know what is it. A balance sheet summarizes the financial position after a certain period. It is also known as a statement of financial condition. In general, a balance sheet contains three portions. These are assets, liabilities, and owner's equity. Now let's create an outline first. Here we have our title using the cells B2 to F2. In B4, let's type personal balance sheet. Then name date in b8 let's type assets now in c8 amount now in b15 let's type total assets finally in e8 let's type liabilities f8 amount in e13 let's type total liabilities and in E15, finally, the equity part, which is the final part of the balance sheet, equity or net worth. Now, let's select B4 to F6. Press Ctrl to select B8 to C15, then E8 to F13, and finally, E15 to F15. Now, from the Home tab under the Font group, Choose the borders drop down and go along with all borders. Now let's deselect these cells using control key. And here let's make them bold and the font size to 12. Now let's deselect total asset, total liabilities and this cell. Now from the font group choose fill color as blue accent 5. Now from the alignment group, let's choose center alignment for all of them. Now let's deselect all of them and choose B4 to F4. And from the alignment group under the home tab, choose merge and center. Now let's use the same format for these two rows as well. Go to clipboard group and choose format painter to select B5 to F6. Now for the informations as in the details of assets and their amount and liabilities, we have recorded it in a dummy sheet and will copy it from there. We have copied it using Ctrl C and will paste it here using Ctrl V. There we can see. Now for liabilities using the same process, let's paste it here using Ctrl V. There we go. Now for total assets, we can either use some function as a formula or we can just click on Alt equal. It will auto sum the numbers from above cells. Enter. So here we can see our total assets. Same goes for liability total, alt equal, enter. Now for equity or net worth, we need to type equals asset or C15 minus liability or F13, enter. Now we can see all the values here. Let's add a different fill color for all of them, making them underlined. Now from the Home tab under the font group, let's underline all of them. And from the fill color, let's choose green accent 6. There we are. Now, if we want to add a name, let's say Carlos Smith. And a corresponding date, let's say 31 October 2023. Now, let's select all of them. And from the home tab under font group, let's choose borders drop down. And select no border then outside border now it looks better right 
Now let's see how to create an income statement. Now as for income statement, it reports the profit and loss of a company over a certain period. So the income statement is made of three parts, revenue or income, expenses and net income. Since our formatting will be pretty much same as the balance sheet, we have copied the format previously using Ctrl C and we will paste it here using Ctrl V in B4. Now we can see there are expenses table, income table and finally net income. Now let's add the expenses detail and amounts from a dummy sheet using Ctrl C and paste it here using Ctrl V. There we can see that. Now as for incomes or revenue, using the same process, Ctrl C to copy the information from a dummy sheet and paste it using Ctrl V. Now let's auto sum using Alt equal like previous process alt equal now as we can see net income will be obviously the total income minus total expense so equals total income so f11 minus c16 enter so our net income value is three thousand and nine hundred dollars using these elaborate steps you can also make a personal financial statement in excel you can practice this with the help of Excel file in the description box below. Let us know if you were able to do it in the comment section. Share your suggestions and feedback as well. You can visit our website exceldemy.com and reach out to our forum for all your VBA or Excel related problems free of cost. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Thanks for watching.